Uh, so what do you think of the hotel, Joe, so far? So far, it's pretty good. I mean, I've been definitely hearing some stuff, and uh, we debunked a few things that we thought were flashes in the bridal room. But um, definitely, I have got a man's voice when I went in there. I asked if um, John Henry Martin was there. Supposedly Who's John him. Henry Martin? He's the gambler that I believe he was Irish that um, committed suicide here in the Holbrook and uh, left a letter. Um, and uh, I asked through the spirit box if he was here, and I got a male's voice that talked for a while. When you ding, ding into the spirit box, you, it's going through multiple channels, multiple stations, but you get the same voice that talks for like at least 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Then, I mean, that's something that's hard to debunk because if it was a radio station, it would be like little blurbs of the same, you know, different mm -hmm. voices, different, you know. But this was the same male voice that was talking. It was very mumbled. And uh, so, I mean, is it possible that maybe he, he is still around here? Like uh, shows like My Ghost Story claim. So, uh, definitely, we're going to try to find out more. It's only like 2 o'clock and we got some more hours left. So, uh, and we got the other house that we're doing too over here that uh, Daniel and Chance and Calvin's at. So, you know, we got a lot to cover still. Cool. All right. We'll see you uh, in a couple hours. Yep. A couple hours. All right. Don't be doing nothing now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Action. Uh, so, Cordy, what do you think uh, about the Holbrook so far? I guess we're at our half point. I don't know what this is. Halfway point? Possibly. Uh, possibly our half point. So far, uh, my expectations probably haven't been met yet. Still waiting to find out anything uh, significant. So we're waiting for something significant to happen. Nothing yet. Now, are you on the hunt for the same person that Joe's on the hunt for? I'm just looking for anything. Anything. I'm trying to make contact with any, anyone, anything. Uh -huh. So far, um, nothing upstairs. Uh, we haven't tried out the basement, really. So we're going to do that. Uh, uh, you're going to go over there, too, and check out that house with uh, Joe, yeah, right? Definitely, yeah, we're definitely going to go over right there and uh, try our luck. So I guess we'll check back with you in like a couple hours Probably then? Probably not, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll figure it out then. Like, just leave us a Facebook message or something. Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, later. Oh, that's horseshit. Okay, now it's recording. Okay. So, bitch, I got to ask it all again. Um, so, Cal, what happened to you over there at that uh, house well, across we the way? We were investigating room 26, and um, I had my uh, my video camera. was taking some shots, and a, and a face got right in front of me. I made out the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and then I, like, get it out of the way. And you're not sure if that was a woman or a man or anything? I couldn't tell. I couldn't make out. Uh, all right. Um, so you're going to do this side now, huh? Yes. Over here in the Holbrook Collect Hotel. Collect your thoughts first. Collect your thoughts. Yeah. Are, but, but are you scared? or? Uh, yes. <laughs> Is that your, like, your very first encounter no, you've my had? My very first encounter, yeah. That's good. That's always good to have. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Cal. Okay. You bet. We'll talk to you in a couple hours and see uh, where you're at, if you're still, uh, you see anything else. Yeah. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Sounds All good. All right. Man. Have some chicken and dumplings. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Daniel. So uh, what did you experience over there in the other house? My honest opinion, we started for room 24, went to 20, then 26. I felt that there was a spirit that was following us. And he was gaining his energy to manifest himself and communicate with us. Mm -hmm. Because very slowly, the K2 hits and everything was just getting stronger and stronger as we went from room to room. 26th was the strongest room. We had a lot of hits on the K2 meters. And my leg was rubbed twice. Your leg was rubbed twice. Is that a fact? Um, what do you think about whole Calvin's uh, spectacular event that happened? Well, he made me jump because 
<laughs> he was a little loud, and it was because we were all concentrating on the K2s. We were each watching one. We had one on the windowsill, one by the entertainment center, one by the coffee maker. Sure. And <laughs> mine was focused on mine. It scared the shrimp out of you, didn't it? Yes, it did. He probably looked, you looked scared shrimpless. He was. He couldn't speak for about 30 seconds after it happened. What, is that right? Maybe about 15 seconds. So are you looking forward to doing this side now? A couple of rooms over here? I sure am. See what you can get over here. You think it may have followed you over here if it was following you over there? I think there's a big possibility. Because we were getting a lot of hits in room 26 when we were mentioning Calvin's name. Right on. <laughs> maybe Calvin's attracted to it. Maybe, maybe that spirit's attracted to Calvin. <laughs> Maybe that spirit wants to stick his titties. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah, good. I guess yeah. we'll talk to you in a couple hours, see what you find over here, huh? Yeah, let's do it. All right, maybe. I don't like cameras. <laughs> well, don't be afraid. It's just for a porno. Um, so what did you think over there in that house? I thought room 24 was pointless. Or wasn't it doesn't matter what you think. Not a whole lot was matter. going on, <laughs> except when the radio went off, it screwed with a few things, but I figured that out pretty quick. 26 was awesome. I want to go back over there and stir up 26 again. We were uh -huh. getting a little antagonistic with it, and that's when it got in Calvin's face. That's when the whole thing happened with Calvin. What did you do when that happened to Calvin? What was your I was reaction? I flying out of the bed through the ceiling. That was awesome. <laughs> you flew out of the bed? You were in the bed? I was sitting on it. Oh, okay. I thought you were like in the bed. That was a long track up the stairs. Yeah. Bad people. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, nose, my nose got brushed and I was sitting in there. I don't know. But at the same time as the face was in front of Calvin? Or? After. Oh, after. Okay. And was that before Daniel's leg was brushed? Yeah. I All believe right. so. I All right. Everything, like, it all happened really fast at once, right after his face, and then it just dropped off. So do you have any advice for uh, Joe and Corey that are about to go investigate that area? Go have fun. You think they're going to, you think Joe might get something in his face or Corley? Because I know Corley's dying to have something get in his face. I don't know. You know, it's all hit and miss. It's all sporadic. All right. I hope so. Or are you, what are you looking forward to over here? You think something over there may have followed you here? Good possibility. I want to go back to 26 because that's where it was going off. Oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe you might just do that. Well, I guess we'll check back with you in a little bit, huh? Huh? Maybe. Huh? Call me, maybe.